Are you guys finally ready for some good news? Last month, I reported that GPU prices finally started to drop, and that drop has continued. We got several sources this time, and unfortunately, not a lot of this is directly impacting the US market right now. So if you're in the US like me, I'm not saying you can just run out and buy a GPU right now for a better price, but all of this worldwide flux in the prices heading down should help, unless some big swing catches up before we see the impacts. Anyway, what am I talking about here? Well, over at 3D Center, which is monitoring the prices at the, uh, the respective best prices at major German retailers, uh, and then this is set in relation to German MSRP. So again, this is Germany, but um, you know that's that's reflective of at least a major market that we can look at. Let me make myself disappear here. And hey, so they've been pre uh, checking these. Now it's important to understand what this graph actually is. When I reported on a 3D Center report like this uh, about a month ago, some people misunderstood it. This is not saying what the price of a particular Nvidia card is in green. It's not saying what the price of a particular AMD card is in green. These are averages. The red line is the average of the best price for the 6700 XT, the 6800, the 6800 XT, and the 6900 XT. So I'm not saying that, I mean, where it is right now at 153%, I'm not saying that you can go out and buy any one of these cards for 153% of its, of its MSRP. That's what the average is. So some of these might be still, you know, 200%, whereas other ones might be closer to 100%. I'm not saying that that's what it is. I'm just saying that's how averages work. I am a math teacher. Anyway, uh, now we've got a green line here. We've got NVIDIA GeForce 30 series, average of best prices for 3060, 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, and the 3090. And once again, notice that over time, we'd seen a really bad time in the middle of May. And uh, last time I reported, we had plunged back down here to the 180, 190% range and Nvidia actually getting uh, almost in line with AMD. Well, that trend has continued. That was the trend I reported on last time and it has continued. We're down to almost, um, uh, well, I mean, yeah, they're 153%, they're look at that. AMD and Nvidia on their newest lines of cards are averaging 153% of MSRP. Again, at major German retailers, this is not worldwide and definitely not US. Now, this is not the only information I have for you today, so don't click out of the video quite yet. Um, but I just wanna say that it's fantastic to see this price line is continuing to trend down. And the last time we were down this low was February. Now I say low, it's still 153% of MSRP, which is, you know, bad, <laughs> but it's it, the line's continuing to head the right direction, which is fantastic to see. Now, what other information do I have for you today? Well, a couple of things. One thing is, and other people, if you follow all this really closely, you might've already seen this a few days ago, but um, the Chinese ban on Bitcoin mining is flooding the Chinese market with, uh, with used GPUs. And I'm not saying definitely like go out and buy one because these are GPUs that have been running at a high temperature and uh, all of that nonstop for months or whatever, but this is good overall because a couple of things. Number one, if Chinese miners are selling, not buying, that means that in the supply and demand equation, um, demand is going down. And in the supply equation, supply is going up because their used cards are flooding the market. And, you know, some people be careful about buying those, but uh, uh, apparently we've actually seen reports of used mining cards selling for below MSRP for the first time like since this new series of cards has launched. So that's definitely heading in the right direction. Now again, this isn't currently the US market and in the US, crypto mining is still a thing. It's, you know, it's in China where their, their government is cracking down on it. So, um, but, but the thing is that is impacting the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum and such. Uh, again, I don't follow crypto super closely other than how it's relevant to, uh, to GPU prices. <laughs> um, but this, if, if the prices on those 
continue to trend down, all of these cards uh, flooding the market, that's all good news and should eventually trickle into US prices again as worldwide global supply and demand improves for the consumer. One more thing I have here at a WCCF tech article is mentioning some other markets. For example, um, they're mentioning that um, prices in Pakistan have been very, very bad, but they've been monitoring it and they've been seeing uh, prices coming down from the 200 to 300% of MSRP they've seen uh, more to like 158% of MSRP, which again is more in line with what we saw over there in Germany on that 3D center graph that I started you out with today. And I believe they had some other information here seeing that in the US, while it's not great, we're, we're at least seeing some improvement here where, for example, the RTX 3080 Ti, which has been pegged there at $3,000 for a long time, is dropping down to 2,500. Now, obviously that's still double MSRP, that's still bad, but anytime we start to see prices having to lower in order for the cards to sell, that is a sign that supply is improving, demand is lowering, that that balance is improving for the consumer. This all looks very, very good. Links to everything I've talked about today will be in the description for you to take care, uh, take a look at yourself. Thank you to all my subscribers. You are beautiful people. Extra special uh, thank you to my uh, members who clicked the join button to financially support this. And uh, I believe it was just flying clips for you that pointed out there was some new information about prices this morning. Now my kids are waking up and I gotta go help them. Uh, so, bye. <laughs>